How are you? I'm great. How are you? Very good. It's uh, it's getting chilly out. Uh, <laughs> uh, the winter is, is soon coming. Uh, <laughs> upon us. Uh, it definitely but, uh, is. Uh, it's always always change is always good. It's always uh, natural, and uh, I always uh, try to find something good in all of it. Absolutely. And, uh, what are we talking about today? Habits. Habits. <laughs> habits. Habits. We all have ones that we'd like to work on. Whether it's eating a little bit healthier, maybe taking a little less screen time, or smoking, and. Um, a lot of clients have approached me recently on tips to help them quit smoking and the importance of doing so while they're trying to conceive or even how much before, how far before trying to conceive is it going to impact their fertility? Oh, it's, tobacco certainly is one of the most dangerous things you can do yes. in life. And, and uh, if you're having difficulty conceiving, it absolutely can be a major factor. Mm -hmm. uh, the toxins that are in tobacco, tobacco smoke can affect yeah. ovulation, implantation, mm -hmm. and potentially just be straight uh, toxic to an embryo. Yeah. Now, obviously, there are lots of people who smoke and yes. have babies, so why it affects other people more so than others, mm -hmm. but even those that smoke and have children, there's probably some adverse effects that they should be stopping. Yes. That said, uh, habits. Yes. And and changing habits are a challenge. Mm -hmm. they, they are. And and tobacco cessation is one of those things, once you've gotten into that habit, it's difficult to stop. Yes. Uh, there are lots of programs out there, and I highly recommend mm -hmm. you talk to someone who has experience in, mm -hmm. in, in, in uh, tobacco cessation. There are patches, there are pills, mm -hmm. um, there's, there, there's meditation, there's Absolutely. hypnosis. There are so many things to do. But you got to do it well in advance. Yes. Uh, but if you do it the moment you're pregnant, obviously, stop. Uh, mm -hmm. But if you can do it uh, three months ahead of time, obviously, the three months to get your sperm and your mm -hmm. eggs really yeah. ramped up and, and uh, clean and healthy is, is very important. Uh, changing those daily habits yeah. is critical. Uh, tobacco, our diets, mm -hmm. uh, how we move our body, yeah. what we put in our brain. Uh, you got to start by working on some new daily habits. Absolutely. Uh, and the best way to break one is to create a new habit. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm not an expert in tobacco cessation. Mm -hmm. uh, there are lots of lots of experts out there. Yes. I highly recommend you seek them out. Good. Well, thank you. Well, all through November, we're going to be offering um, great articles and resources on how you can find these experts. Um, great resources online, wonderful support groups where you can check in multiple times a day. Um, I've spoken with many clients, and that was one of the things that really helped them was joining a specific smoking cessation support group, and they always had the mantra of post before you smoke. So if they had an urge, they were able to post and connect with someone in their community. So we'll be doing meditations and webinars and offering all sorts of resources to help you plan so that you can quit. Instead of saying, tomorrow I'm just going to stop and feel disappointed if you don't have a plan, we'll help you get a plan in place. Yeah, someone said to me, uh, and I read this about uh, calling yourself a non-smoker. Yeah. I am a non-smoker. Even when you're picking it up, yeah. I'm a, I'm a non-smoker. Mm -hmm. And so it, it begins to get the brain yeah. used to the non-smoking, and then one day you pick it up and say, well, wait, wait a minute, what am I doing with this? I'm a non-smoker. Why Absolutely. would I put this in my mouth? And so it begins. And, and yes, the support group and mm -hmm. talking to someone and sharing your story, because None of us are the first to be experiencing this. And if you're always going back and learning what others have done, mm -hmm. it really, really is powerful and helpful because uh, we, we need that support. Definitely. So take, be on the lookout for those. If you have any ideas or suggestions, feel free to pass them along. But we will be focusing on providing you with all sorts of information on helping stop this habit and then also positive ways to work in new habits, especially um, I know many of our women with PCOS are working on new diet habits. And so getting together a plan and a support system to help you incorporate those into your daily lives will be coming shortly. Very important, very important. God bless and enjoy the day. Thank you.